Hi, my name is Anshul and I'm glad to be a part of the Online Prosperity Show today. Um, today we're going to talk about video and video marketing, how video is changing uh, marketing forever and how it's going to keep, um, it's just going to keep growing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Online Prosperity Show, where we bring you inspiring stories of entrepreneurs who are paving the way to success. I'm your host, Prosper Tarubinga, and today I have a remarkable guest that's joining us. Anshu, how are you doing, my man? Hey, good, Prosper. I'm doing great, and thank you so much for having me here on your show today. Absolutely. The pleasure is all mine. I'll tell you something, man. I'm shaking in my boots knowing what it is that you do for work and me attempting to do a show like this and having you as a guest is really remarkable. Now, for those that are just joining us and watching um, you know, this video, Anshu is at the founder of Socialite, a company on a mission to connect brands with their target audience at a human level through the power of video. And we've brought him in today so that he can help us really get to the nuts and bolts of why video has become a pivotal um, aspect to your marketing arsenal. And uh, today, I really want to um, welcome Anshu, who has been doing remarkable work and uh, we've been uh, you know, connected behind the scenes. Now, Anshu, I could go on and on about um, what it is that you do, but since you're here, you know, it is a pleasure to have you here. Let's just start maybe from the beginning. You actually started this journey of yours when you were 10 years old, when you coded um, your first um, uh, app. Okay, could you tell us a little bit more about that experience and how it actually shaped your journey? Absolutely. I wouldn't call it an app exactly because we didn't have apps back then. It was, uh, I guess, early 90s. And uh, look, I, I guess it, it all started um, in the early 90s when I was probably around the seven or eight years old mark. I used to go to my dad's office, right, where he had this old black and white computer and it, had, it used to work on a DOS-based operating system. So I don't know if you guys know DOS, but it's like a very basic command line-based um, operating system where you type in a few commands get the computer to do stuff and that's about it. There's no mouse. There's no other interface, proper visual interface happening. It's It was very simple and very basic. So uh, in hindsight, if I think about it, that's probably where the foundation of my programming journey lies, right? Because you got to type everything in, in commands and get the computer to do stuff, which is essentially what programming is, right? It's a set of instructions at the end of the day that you give to a computer and the computer outputs something for you. Now, after going back uh, to the story, after experimenting and breaking things a lot of times, of course, uh, I got a good hang of what the commands were, right, in DOS. So I, I could create documents, I can play DOS-based games, print stuff, a little bit more, right? Um, in fact, I once wrote... Um, a little bit of a program on DOS itself that just, you know, print out like 10 sheets of garbled text in one go, in one command will just do that. So it's pretty good. Uh, of course, it was annoying for my dad. I would think they had those um, uh, printers back then, doc matrix printers. It'll, they'll just be so noisy and they'll just keep going on and on forever. But anyway, I think things changed. Things really changed when I got my first PC, right, in 1994, and I started to do a whole lot more with it. So especially with the initial version of Windows, right, I think it was Windows 9, uh, 3.11 back then, I would write small computer programs. You know, I would ma manipulate Windows system files themselves and play around quite a bit with it. So I once wrote a simple uh a loop right in one of the windows startup files and it wouldn't just it wouldn't let the computer start no matter what no matter what you do it just wouldn't boot so i got into a lot of trouble for that of course <laughs> but it was it was fun right now with the introduction of internet explorer i think it was around 1995 when it came out and netscape um that's when i coded my first personal like html website right 
and I used to launch them on subdomain. There were free subdomains on hosting sites back then that let you uh, put your site on there. And that's that's probably where, you know, um, I think these were the early years that helped shape my life and career as a programmer, a digital marketer and, a you know, a digital creator. Fantastic. And yeah. t- thank you so much for that story. I bet your dad was not really happy because I can remember <laughs> the printer going... <laughs> Yeah, that's but it. But you also really mentioned um, a fun fact there. When I was starting my computer journey as well, we used to do that whole C colon backslash uh, working with DOS um, yeah. interfaces and things like that. And uh, one word remained with me, giggle, G-I-G-O, garbage in, garbage out. It's garbage basically, out. Yeah, whatever you put in is is exactly what uh, comes out. Now, now, um, Ansh, it's very fascinating to hear about your early passion for technology and it's how it ignited your entrepreneurial spirit. Now, where you are working now with Socialite, you're focusing on helping businesses grow their organic uh, social media using video. Now, can you explain how this approach that you're doing now differs from the traditional advertising methods uh, that were there before? Absolutely. Look, I, I, I believe that there two high level ways of marketing a product or a business on the internet, right? There's, you've got the paid ads where you pay for an ad and it appears on a specific network or a platform. And the second way is organic where you don't really pay for ads, but you create content then let you let that content travel to your audience, you know, in a natural, more natural way, like in a search result or through social media. Uh, now, it's no secret that organic reach on social media has been going down, as we all know, right? And um, these social media companies, of course, want to monetize their platforms more by selling ads, right? But in all honesty, I think video changes all of that. These platforms are as good as the content on there, right? And then now that the power of video, people love videos, Right. If they don't let people put organic video good content on their platforms, people are just going to stop using the platform, right? So, and and then there's no business for them. Um, now, um, of course, as I said, video has the power to keep people sticking to these platforms, right? And they obviously spend more time on these platforms, which is what these companies want. But um, because as businesses who advertise on these platforms, you want to see that there are people on there. You know, there's an audience for that platform. Uh, now, if businesses can create good video content that talks to their audience, right, they can effectively reach their target market without spending a penny on paid ads. That's that's what I really, really believe, you know, and that's what I do for my business as well. Um, now, this is exactly where Socialite comes in, right? We simply help businesses create effective video content that can talk to their audience on a human level and get them out there so they can use these organic channels, push their video content in, you know, and and get that connection built with their audience. Yeah. Absolutely. And I love the way you've really embraced the latest technology, which is, um, you know, reels or short form video content because that's punchy and people get to the pain point. And for small to medium businesses, they're looking at that thinking, wait, wait a minute, would that work for their business? Or is it just for the influencer type person? Now, tell me something. TikTok is a very unconventional platform, um, you know, to utilize for business growth. Now, how do you maybe recognize its potential and how can businesses effectively leverage TikTok for them to stand out? Absolutely. I think it all starts off with the numbers if you look at the numbers right in 2022 tiktok had 8.5 million users in australia alone now given our population that's almost like 40 percent of the adult population who's using tiktok in the country that's a big number right with the exponential user growth in australia as a market it was a no-brainer that tiktok will become a great platform where businesses can reach out to their customers too, right? So after, you know, as I said, looking at all those numbers, there's a very high probability that your potential customer is on TikTok, right? No matter the industry you're operating, given the number of users they've got here, it's a very high chance that your customers are on there, right? So businesses need to start looking at trends on TikTok, 
researching their competitors, you know, and creating video content that, that their customers would like to see on that platform. And TikTok is the perfect platform to show the human side of your business as well. And if, if businesses aren't us- utilizing it, they are missing out big time, to be honest. Absolutely. And I really like that because I would have thought that TikTok is just for people to do the latest crazy dances, but you definitely have brought in the stats and the figures to showcase how using it will actually benefit a business. Now, one of the unique aspects of Socialite is to emphasize on, you know, growing businesses without a paying for ads. You did mention that a little bit earlier on that, you know, organic reach is on a landslide and so many businesses, um, you know, would rather show up um, on ads because that's what's preferable to the, um, you know, to the platforms. Now, can you maybe share with us some strategies and tips on how businesses can actually achieve this? Yeah, look, I think in terms of tips, if you want to grow your business without paying for ads, I've, I've got three tips, right? Number one, create videos. Number two, create videos. Number three, create videos, right? In all seriousness, though, if you can create good video content by constantly testing and tweaking it, right, then that's half of the battle won right there, you know? All you've got to do then after that is to work out a distribution strategy, like how would you use this content effectively on different social media platforms or through your email blasts or website. Or look, even if you want to use paid ads, video is probably the best type of content to use for paid ads as well. You know, so I think that's, that's, that's the gist of it. Yeah. Absolutely. And the way that you have been using, um, you know, the platforms and the way that you have been working with people is um, through the use of creating um, remote videos. Now, can you maybe tell us how you actually enable this and how people can actually get started with working with you? Yeah, look, with remote videos, we created something called remote shoots, right? What we want to do is we want you to be, as a business, we want you to be in a comfortable position where you can talk to a real person Right. So, um, um, I mean, you can imagine when you talk to a real person versus when you talk to a camera, that there could be a huge difference. Right. So if I'm your potential customer and you're telling me about your business, it's going to come out a whole more, more naturally than if you were going to record it on a video, you know, through a camera. Not everyone's comfortable with that approach. So a remote shoot lets us overcome this big uh, obstacle where I would act as a customer to your business, right? And I'll honestly ask you questions about your business, something that you'll cut similar to what your customers would want to do. You know, they want to learn more about your business. They want to see how you can, you know, solve their pain points, what solutions you've got. So I would ask you those questions. And when you're answering them, they get recorded um, on your phone through, a you know, a specialized software that we use. They get recorded locally in 4K format, you know. So, um which is where we would take all of that content and break it up into small pieces, smaller pieces than which is what you can take to your social media or any other platforms that you use to to promote your videos on. And so it, as I said, it all comes down um, to naturally getting that information out to your customers on a human level, right? Um, and so that's pretty much how uh, remote shoots work. Absolutely. And thank you so much. And what would be the best way for people to get a hold of you? Um, Look, uh, uh, we've got a website, which is getsocialite.com.au. That's where you can jump on, check out uh, some of the work we've done. There's a contact form there if you want to fill it out. Um, My email uh, is anshul, A-N-S-H-U-L, at getsocialite.com.au. Or you can ring us on 039028. Five six two seven. Fantastic. I'll make sure that all those details are in the show notes just to make sure that people are in um you know in contact with you. Now, Ant, you would understand. I think it was Jerry Seinfeld that mentioned that uh at a funeral, somebody would rather be the person in the 
uh, coffin than the person who is actually giving the eulogy. A lot of people are very scared to be in front of the camera or to even maybe do a video interview like this. What sort of advice would you give, um, you know, to a business person that's looking to use video as their uh, means of communication, but they're still very nervous when it comes to being in front of the camera? I think it, it all comes down to practice, right? You gotta, you gotta do, you gotta start doing it, and uh, then you've got to, you've got to put it out. No matter if you can't, I mean, don't go for perfection in the first few videos. It's just not gonna happen. You've just got to start standing in front of your camera and start start talking about what you know about your business, which should be, you know, you, you should know everything about your business, and then put it out there, right? And slowly you'll build that confidence. And the more you do it, the, the closer to perfection you'll get. So yeah, definitely. That's that's that's. Uh, I, I think practice makes perfect, and uh, that that's my advice there for sure. Absolutely. Somebody might just be watching this and thinking, but Anch has all has been there since the start of the computers, you know, with the C colon backslash and DOS ages and things of that nature. And now you're at the forefront of you know creating video for social media and things of that nature. My question to you now is what 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 do you see the future of content creation and especially these uh, social media platforms, especially when it comes to video? Um, look, it's going to be videos, right? Videos has, uh, there, there's so much you can do on a video, right? Because um, it's, you can you can create talk and head videos. You can create videos of your office. You can create videos of your staff. And I think there's a million ideas that you can show showcase through videos. So video is definitely the future, and that's where all these big platforms are headed towards. That's why they are pushing it so much. So I don't know if it's it's going to be three D videos eventually or whatever, or videos through a VR gear. But it's definitely going to be video based. So yeah. That, Videos, video is going to be the future of content for sure. Fantastic. I really appreciate you spending the time with us uh, on the call today there, Hans. No, I, I appreciate you having me once more, uh, Prosper. And, uh, it, it was a pleasure. Absolutely. It's quite clear that Socialite is making a significant impact in the world of content creation and business growth. Anj, I really wish you continued success as you actually start helping businesses connect with their audiences in a meaningful way. Now, to our viewers and audience, you would understand that video is the way to go. That's the reason why we are showing up on this show every single day, just so that you have value and content that you can actually use to create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I want to thank you for tuning in to the Online Prosperity Show. Stay inspired and and remember, your dreams are within reach. Until next time, it's been Prosper. Thank you to my guest, Anshul. Bye for now.